Hey, it's Noel with uh, from Renters Warehouse with a quick video again on this beautiful uh, drive I'm having in Colorado. Uh, I want to expand a little bit on some of the things I've been talking about this last week about due diligence and how important the due diligence is. And I'm mostly talking about portfolios, but this goes goes if you own one property or own a hundred or twenty or fifty or whatever the number is. Uh, we talk with portfolio holders all the time, and if you've watched any of my videos. Uh, I haven't talked about it recently, but you know we're we're buying. We have investors buying portfolios of single-family rental homes. They will pay pay a fair market value. So, what's fair market value? What is it to a seller? What is it to a buyer? To a seller, it's really them getting the return or or the the return on their hard work and. Uh, sweat equity they've put into a portfolio. Most of the time, you're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to put a lot of time and energy into building a portfolio up, holding on to it, managing it for a certain amount of years, and then you're selling it. Many times these are people who bought portfolios in the down market, they've gone up by va in value, they've put time and energy and effort into it, and so they want that fair market value. For an investor, uh, buying the fair market value is is whatever their their yield threshold is, their cost of capital, and their whatever the return that they need to get, and their ROI, what they're looking for, and analyzing a market, and the asset class, and all these different things. The hardest part is getting those expectations to match up, and it really comes down to the condition of the homes and how well they've been taken care of, and what kind of records that you're keeping as an as a owner. Do you know the age of all your mechanicals? Because you should. You should keep a record of that. You're in, you're in these properties at some point. You should be keeping a record of the age of the mechanicals, continually keeping up, so keeping up on the deferred maintenance. So HVAC, water heater, windows, roof, driveway, things like that, that are high ticket items that any buyer coming in wants to know the condition of those things. And so the difference between getting fair market value and getting something what would be considered a low ball offer is information. So if you're an investor buying and you don't know, truly know the condition of a home, and you know, but you know the age, and you've seen some pictures of the outside, maybe Google Photos, whatever it might be, whatever you can get, but you don't know truly what it looks like now, you're going to hedge your bet on an offer. You're going to bake in those costs to fix up a property, and it's going to be much more than the actual cost because you're just guessing. You're taking the worst case scenario. If you're a seller and you want to get the best price, do you think by withholding information, whether intentionally or not intentionally, just lack of your own knowledge of your own portfolio, do you think that's the best way to get the best price? Of course not. The best way to get the best price is to give as much information as possible, even if the homes are not in great condition. Because I can tell you this, if you wait until the inspection period, and when we're talking portfolios, there's a lot of money involved, and the first five homes are in bad condition, this, the buyer is going to automatically ask for a pretty big price reduction, much more than the cost of you getting inspections done or getting uh, fixing up a few things in the house and make sure they're looking good. And I'm not talking about pictures of the home when you rehabbed it, but by the way, having before and after pictures are great. But keeping records of everything you've done, if you've rehabbed these houses and you've got permits, just put them all in a file somewhere in a, in a digital file and keep those because when you sell the house or the homes, this is going to be paramount. So I'd love to know what people think about this, but it's just, I want to expand on this because it's so very important. And if you want to do business with us and you want to work with us, we're going to ask for you to get all of those things. Because if you don't, it's going to be really hard for us to sell the houses. So those sellers who want that fair market value and they want to get a return on all the effort they put into the house, think about what I just said. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.